Another flashpoint in the long conflict between Israelis and Palestinians, the West Bank, where Palestinians and Jews live in constant tension and where there has been recent deadly violence by Israeli settlers. And now some troubling scenes involving Israel's military and alleged treatment of Palestinians. Chief Foreign Correspondent Richard Engel has the story. With tensions already high across the Middle East, now there's this. These Palestinian men were apprehended by Israeli soldiers. Palestinians are comparing this video to the abuse and humiliation carried out by U.S. troops at Iraq's Abu Ghraib prison. Two human rights groups tell us they are still investigating the circumstances. While it's unclear exactly where or when the incident took place and the circumstances surrounding it, Israel is not denying it. In a statement, the Israel Defense Forces tells NBC News the conduct seen in the footage is deplorable and does not comply with the Army's orders. We are familiar with the incident and it is being reviewed by the commanders. Disciplinary actions will be applied accordingly. It was not an isolated incident. This photo on Israeli social media shows three men stripped, bound, and confined in an animal pen. One of them is Mohammed Matar. So you can still see where the uh, wires were. Today, he told me he was beaten by Jewish settlers and Israeli troops for over eight hours, several days after the Hamas massacre. He says he was urinated on, rolled in manure, kicked and hit with rifles. The Israeli military tonight told us a commander involved was removed from his post and an investigation has been opened. Do you think they're doing this more now, emboldened, taking more aggressive action after October 7th? Yeah. Before it was only physical assault, after they started shooting and attacking, he said. Matar is a humanitarian worker for the Palestinian Authority, the moderate Palestinian government in the West Bank that Israel hopes will replace Hamas in Gaza. On October 7th, Hamas murdered 1,400 Israelis, including entire families, and took more than 240 hostages, including children. Since then, Jewish settlers living on Palestinian land on the West Bank have dramatically increased attacks on Palestinians. We've seen an uprise in both settler and military um, violence towards Palestinians in the West Bank. And I think that, uh, in a way, the settlers mainly are exploiting the fact that all eyes are on Gaza in order to, you know, complete their task and take over more and more Palestinian land. Eliana and Khalil Basir were collecting olives in the West Bank. He's 77, she's 69. They're Christians. The couple says Jewish settlers last week attacked them without provocation. Khalil told me one of the settlers grabbed him in the groin, squeezed and said, I'm going to crush them. He was then hit repeatedly with a heavy stick, leaving bruises all over his body. Eliana tried to intervene. I said, we're old, why are you hitting us? Then she says she was hit. Her arm is broken in two places from a single blow. Khalil never called the police. They don't do anything, he says. They don't even answer. And Richard, now the UN is saying there's been a spike in settler violence. A new U.N. report says that settler violence has increased significantly since the October 7th attacks and that in almost half the cases, Israeli security forces accompanied or actively supported the attackers. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.